just to see her, just to free her, just to see you in my arms again, one more time. Oh, you brighten up my everything, yeah, yeah. Make me feel so good in every way. There's nothing I would do. I want to see you again. Yeah, I would do anything. I will go anywhere. There's nothing I would do just to see you again. Thank you, y'all. Excuse me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you are. Let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Listen here, you know, privilege is really something, you know, and like I always say, it's not good for somebody to live a certain way all the time. There's no room for growth. It's very difficult for somebody to meet you and offer you anything or to even suggest anything to you when you operate from a, a position of, 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 of a privilege in a position of um, you run things because really you you can't take no very well, and that's what that's what happens with these people that have personality disorders, or they're just extremely extremely uh, crazy that y'all don't want to give uh, any credence to because normal people have to accept the highs and lows of life. Uh, normal people, especially black people, have to accept what is given to us, and because we are rooted in something bigger than ourselves in most instances we already know that's part of the payment plan that you uh pay for crossing through life right well not this particular woman right here and these kind of women really get to me because i want to know what they think if they kill one if your uh, wife is cheating on you with somebody or your husband or whatever. And what make you think if you kill that person that they're not going to do it again with somebody else? Because they don't want you like that. And you can't accept it. So you rather kill the person and think that that's going to what? Make you live happily ever after? Is that what you really, really think? Are you that privileged? Are you that sick in your being, in your spirit? Anyway, this bitch happens to be a TV animal rights lawyer. She pled guilty to murder for hire plot offering after offering a ranch hand a hundred thousand dollars to kill her estranged her estranged husband's girlfriend. See, let's put the light on these people and they privilege, because it's really mind boggling. And we can't go back to being the same. And if y'all accept life the way you accepted it before COVID, I don't know what to say. I just don't. I just got to keep my house in order because I realized something, y'all. If you dwell on the past, it seems like you win your ego. If you continue to stay in the moment and live in this moment, that's how you stay humble and that's how you stay focused and aware. Okay? This chick, Jennifer Emmy, has pleaded guilty to a string of charges after attempting to hire a hitman to heal her to kill her estranged husband's girlfriend. Oh, isn't that just wonderful? Isn't she a model citizen? She, uh, Emmy, an animal rights attorney, entered pleas of to seven felonies and four misdemeanors. She had been locked in a divorce battle with ex Donnie Emmy when she offered 28 year old ranch hand, Timothy Lindsay. $100,000 to carry out the killing. After her arrest in January, legal documents alleged she had abused her ex-husband and their children prior to the murder for hire plot. See, 
And y'all always talking about white men. You just leave out the white women. Because who do you think create the men? What I'm saying. Okay. This broad. This broad. <laughs> her felony charges anyway include solicitation to commit second degree murder, menacing, heat of passion, strangulation, attempting to influence a judge, violation of bail bond, I mean, and retaliation against a witness and stalking. She pleaded guilty to the, uh, misdemeanor charges of criminal mischief, reckless driving, tampering, and two counts of child abuse against her own children. Under the conditions of her plea, the judge seeing her case will dismiss 11 other felony counts and 12 other misdemeanor charges, People Magazine reported. Now, y'all see this? Look at this white privilege. Look at this white privilege that people are getting damn tired of. I know we are. I know we are. And I know another thing. We're not going to keep on taking it. Can't keep taking this. Can't keep taking The universe is not even going to. Damn what we feel. The universe is not going to allow this to continue. It's not. And it is going to take a phenomenon. And that phenomenon is right around the corner. Y'all just don't know. Because you can only beat a dog so long before he bites back. This is insanity. After her arrest, legal documents allege she threatened her estranged spouse and her children. She allegedly held a knife to her husband's throat as he held one of the couple's three young children. Legal documents dealing detailing the allegations her husband made against her, which were obtained by Fox News, while Donnie's back was to Jennifer, he felt someone grab the hood part of his hooded sweatshirt. At the same time, he felt his hair being pulled, and then he felt a piece of cold metal come across his neck and press into it. The following month, Jennifer is alleged to have grabbed one of her three children by the neck to strangle him. I didn't think I was going to live, the young child was quoted as saying, to the investigators in the after David. Donnie was additionally fearful that Jennifer would commit murder suicide and kill him and her kids and all of them as well. This is what privilege do. See, this is what privilege do. According to legal documents, Donnie claims Jennifer threatened to kill one of their children by driving into a tractor trailer. All these charges drop. I, I guess she got in there and started crying. You know how they do. Donnie alleges that Jennifer was suffering from substance abuse issue and was taking several medications for a condition called optic neuritis. Her attorney disputed the claims made in the affidavit. They, Emmy and Donnie had been locked in a divorce battle when she contacted Timothy Lindsay about murdering Donnie's girlfriend, who has not publicly been named. Emmy was uh, allegedly recorded in a series of telephone calls asking if Lindsay knew anyone who could get rid of this woman. She is said to have provided the girlfriend's name and workplace, the affidavit said. Lindsay played along, telling Emmy it will cost her about $100,000. The pair also alleged to have discussed whether the killing should happen at the Evergreen Ranch uh, or someplace else. Rich white folk. Jennifer responded that the money would not be a problem. Emmy is alleged to have suggested that both of the all pair and the husband could be killed because if there was a car accident or something, no one would know. And then she later said, then later said the plan was on hold. The ranch hand said he believed the animal rights attorney was serious. When investigators assess Emmy's computer, they say she has searched for how to get rid of another woman for good. 
Lindsay then notified Donnie and went to the police. The affidavit also alleges that Emmy researched witnesses, judges, prosecutors, investigators, investigators all involved in her case, sometimes keeping handwritten notes with personal information on those people and their family. This is white privilege. Don't mistake it. It's not supreme. It's what they've allowed these fools to think that their reality is so based in unreality. It's delusional. She also allegedly researched whether law enforcement could track her phone and bought devices meant to block tracking. Emmy founded the Animal Law Center, <laughs> established a nonprofit ranch in Evergreen to accentuate the bond between humans and animals, and has been regularly interviewed by local media outlets about various animal cases. She's going to be sentenced on August 16th. Y'all tell me. Tell me what you think. And what do you think? about a woman or a man who would actually hire somebody to kill their loved one. I mean, it happens. It happens in the black community. It, 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 ain't nobody gonna forget Ray. Ray Carew. But do you find this characteristically weak? That you can't have the outcome that you want about a situation that you created or you participated in person gets pregnant or the person don't want you no more and you decide they should die y'all let me know what y'all think about that okay leave your comments below and I'm going to see you in the next video